Cocaine use in Scotland has soared in the last five years, while heroin has seen a sustained fall. The new figures come as senior doctors add their weight to calls for safe consumption rooms to reduce the country's chronic drug death rates. Here's our chief reporter, Sharon Frew. The drug crisis has been described as a national emergency, and in Glasgow city centre, a converted ambulance is being used as part of a response. In the hour we filmed in this unofficial safe consumption facility, seven people injected here under supervision. What originally started in a transit van is now operating as a service open four days a week. That's six months now we've been delivering this overdose prevention service. It's desperately needed. We're supervising about five injections per hour. And the drug-related harms that we're seeing is uh, it's just really uh, frustrating that we're not moving forward with this. Uh, an official facility, a static facility, would be able to cope with the demand. I mean, we're having to wait for people to come out before the other people can come in. We would also have built around services like so health and welfare services, you know, drug treatment services. Peter set up this service after plans to establish an official facility in Glasgow were blocked. The city's Health and Social Care Partnership welcomes recommendations today from the Royal College of Physicians of Edinburgh. Its report calls for the wider introduction of safe consumption rooms. The UK government remains opposed to the move. The Scottish government says it's still exploring the legal barriers and will continue to work with the medical community. Across the political spectrum, people won't agree. Um, and so you debate that, but you actually come to a consensus so that you can take that forward as a positive strategy and not so that that debate or discussion stymies any progress. And to that event, it would be very helpful for the UK government, the Scottish government, to be working together. Latest statistics show cocaine abuse is on the rise. Half of those coming to this service inject the powder form. They also take street drugs. In today's report, doctors highlight the urgent need for a study to understand this complex polydrug use and to find solutions to help save lives. Sharon Frew, STV News.